Simple blood tests which could identify the presence of sickle hemoglobin, or hemoglobin S as it became known, had shown by the 1920s that not everybody who had hemoglobin S in their blood had the disease. It soon became apparent that sickle cell disease was inherited and that the pattern of inheritance suggested a relatively simple genetic explanation. Two, number one is normal, AA2. As you can see, it's negative. You can see the lines through the solution. Number two is sickle trait, which is very turbid and you can't see through. The third one also, SS. Again, there's lots of turbidity, you can't see the line. The difference between the two is this one is a little lighter because of the anemia, the sickle cell anemia, but you still see it's very cloudy and you can't see the lines. Sickle cell disease is an inherited disease. That means you're born with it. You cannot catch it or contract it from another person. It's not a contagious disease. Our hair color, our eye color, all of these things are inherited from our parents. What our parents give us for these characteristics are genes. The type of blood that we make is also dependent on the genes that we inherited from our parents. And inside our red blood cells, the type of hemoglobin we make is also dependent on the genes we inherited from both our father and our mother. Now, there are healthy people who can carry the sickle cell gene. These are people we refer to as having sickle cell trait. They have inherited the normal set of genes from one parent and then the sickle cell gene from the other parent. Such people are also referred to as AS because they make both hemoglobins A and S. If both parents of a child have sickle cell trait, AS, then they can have children with three possibilities. A child with normal hemoglobin, AA. A child like themselves with both hemoglobins, A and S, sickle cell trait. Or a child with only sickle hemoglobin, SS, and hence sickle cell disease. Developed statistically, this means that at each pregnancy, there is a 25% chance of having a child with normal haemoglobin, a 50% chance of having a healthy child but with sickle cell trait, and a 25% chance of having a child with sickle cell disease, SS. <laughs>